but I would not be honest with you if I did not tell you that upon occasion I have been known to, on purpose, use my southern accent to my advantage. I don't know what made me think I could leave Burlington, North Carolina for a speaking trip, go over to the Greensboro High Point, Winston-Salem Regional Triad International Piedmont Airport, fly to LaGuardia in New York City, rent an automobile, drive myself out of New York City in the rush hour traffic to give a speech in Kingston, New York. I won't even go into the renting of the automobile. The person didn't speak Southern. We were like animals in a cage trying to figure one another out. And finally I thought, maybe it's time for me to enunciate and slow down, and I said, just give me the little map. I'll pull over on the side of the road when I'm leaving New York City and find my own way out of here. She smiled and handed me the map. The smile was the clue. If you are a left brain person who must have some information when you hear anybody give a speech or a presentation, you get out your pencil and write this down. Here it is. You don't pull over on the side of the road when you leave in New York City. All of a sudden, I was in six lanes of traffic, and we were going. I could barely even see the side of the road. I was caught up like NASCAR. We were just going. But they're very friendly up there. They keep waving at you, and they wave like this. <laughs> they would pass me, and I'd try to smile. <laughs> All of a sudden, in front of me was the Triborough Bridge, and I was smart enough to know that I could go in one of three directions, and when I made my decision, I was caught that way for a long time. And then I saw the toll booth had a sign on it that says, if you do not have the exact change, come in here and talk to us. And I thought, this would be a good time to pull out my southern accent. So I went in there and I mashed the button and the window went down. I said, hi, hi you. I need some help man in the toll booth looked down at me like, we got us a live one right here, buddy. <laughs> I said, is this the road to Kingston, New York? Now, I don't do a real good northern accent. I'm going to try in a few minutes, but you can tell it always sort of comes out southern. But he answered me, and he reminded me of something. We have a tendency to put people in two groups, northerners, southerners, tall people, short people, east coast, west coast, whatever. But in reality... Haven't you found traveling around on motor coaches? The important thing is that most people can either be put in the group of those who have a sense of humor or those who don't. <laughs> he had one. He said, lady, not only is this the road to Kingston, but if you'll wait a few seconds, I'll hold up the other cars and give you a head start. <laughs> I don't want y'all to think I just pulled away and wasn't friendly. I looked in my mirror right four left and I waved goodbye to the man behind me. 